Uh, but you you mentioned um, you mentioned glass half full, and that that struck me that that actually Ooh. glass glass um, glass is pretty much where we are on on, on, uh, on this podcast, and it reminded me of the the African king who rather than rather than glass was interested in grass because he lived in a, a grass hut and his his hut was made of, of this sisal a very fibrous grass and, and, and uh, because it because it's very fibrous it was able to to withstand a, a lot of tension a lot of pressure and so uh, the the grass houses in his part of africa were, were two or even three stories high and so he made this palace essentially where all the other tribe leaders were making single story huts. He made this palace with, with three stories. And he thought, well, I've got three stories here. I don't really need them. I've got all these rooms that don't need. Uh, I need a collection because that's what I've seen Western people have. They have a collection they fill their, their grass houses with. And I'm a tribe leader. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? I, I sit on a throne. I, I dictate my policies from a throne, and I rather like the throne they have at the, at the village down the road. So um, uh, I'll see if I can buy that. And he bought it, and he thought, this is a fantastic throne, this. But actually, I'd quite like the throne they got, actually, about 30 miles down the road in the next village. I might see if I can buy that. And it, it got to be a thing with him, and he, he got all these different thrones, and he'd, he'd spend a week or two sitting on one thinking, this is the best throne to have. But then he got bored with it. He thought, well, it's not good enough. I, I need to have something better. I need to have something that really shows that I am the leader, not just a leader, but the leader. So he, he'd, he'd store the, these old thrones up on the second or third floor of his, of his sisal grass hut. And he got to the stage, there were about 40 or 50 of him, and he got one more. He thought, that there, there's, there's a, a tribe about 50 miles down the road. I'm going to get their throne. He bought it back and thought, wow, this is absolutely <clears throat> all the thrones stored in the upper floors fell on him, collapsed, killed him. Poor chap. And it just goes to show that people who live in grass houses shouldn't stow thrones. It was as physically painful as I thought it was. Excellent, excellent. <laughs> <good>. <laughs> <laughs> don't humour him, Jane. Don't don't humour him by laughing, please. I know, but you know, sometimes you have to help the needy, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's and care it, in the community, really, isn't it?